at uh, Loch Aileen. Um, last time Beverly and I were at Loch Aileen, we didn't even get off the boat uh, because it was so windy and horrible. It's summer in Scotland. I don't know if you can hear me over the noise. But um, this time we decided that we'd come into the pontoons. Uh, that way we're definitely getting off the boat. Uh, but we're just walking around Loch Aileen and I have to say it's a really nice picturesque wee place. But I'm actually sitting out, the th sitting outside at the moment, the third community centre that I've seen. And it's only other things is it's got one shop and one petrol pump, but uh, it's got three community centres. So I reckon the sense of community is wonderful. It's just like a dinghy practice, just fall in, oh, like the dinghy's capsized. Oh, it's freezing. Of course it's freezing, you're in Scotland! Oh. <gasps> We're still here! <laughs> <laughs> I have to hit the thing where it's beautiful yet. Oh yes, oh god it's gorgeous. Oh my god, you need to do this. No I don't. Oh, it's lovely. Woo! I need to eat curry. Get on with it, you'll soon warm up. <laughs> well, no, turn round, gorgeous, turn round, do your back. Dog's dog? Dog's fine. We popped into Loch Aileen on our way to Tobermory just to come and revisit the place. We haven't been here for a while and we had a fun time. It was a lovely evening. Karen went for a bit of a swim. We went for a few walks, but the wind's freshened up. So we're going to get off today and we're going to go up to Tobermory and see if we can spend a few days up there, maybe try out a few distilleries and just have a bit of a good time. We had not realised there was a race on and that Tobermory was the finish line. They might have been quicker than us, but we could take the direct route and use the engine as well. We'd phoned ahead and found out there were only six slips available and 50 race boats approaching. Well, we're into uh, Tobermory and uh, the place is a hive of activity at the moment uh, because we only just got in uh, before the racing fleet arrived. <laughs> we had to cheat abysmally by putting the engine on but we just wanted to um, get into Tobermory before the racing fleet so that we actually had a pontoon slip. Cheers, we have one. We certainly do, we have a racing slip and that was what we needed so what have you got to celebrate Karen? Not having her head taken off with a spring. <laughs> <laughs> I think you two need a glass of wine too because you're just so stressy. <laughs> yeah, it's just the way it is. <laughs> cute, All those boats met big queues at the shops, but the Scottish weather fixed that when the heavens opened. Gaynor and Karen went for a walk while I got the shopping in. Turned from our walk to the lighthouse. Uh, absolutely stunning views, but unfortunately, <laughs> oh, the rain was coming down so hard that we could hardly see the other shore sometimes, could we? 
and um, the race fleet are out there and at one time I could not see the race fleet um, but uh, apparently uh, one boat behind us has just he's done one of the races he thinks he's done very well to do one he's coming back in now I don't blame him because we decided to stay here in Tobermory wise decision I mean it was nice walk I saw loads of flowers loads of views but let's be honest it was very wet underfoot The next day was nicer, so we left for Loch Salen. The wind died and we had to motor. And we had squalls charging down the loch at us. There is mental, mental, and there is truly, you too. truly mental. Right, but we are going to go for it, aren't we, Karen? This is my second. No, this is my third swim, actually. Ooh, brave me. So, clung. You just slowly go in. The so, drink. I'm going to go and do this cold water swimming because, quite frankly, you're a loony. I'm a complete and utter bomb cake. Okay, right, slowly come on. Then. That's nice. Have you seen that ladder? It's so... I know, but it's quite nice when you look down. It's quite pretty. I like the way you let Gaynor get in first. Well, look, Alfred, do you want me to go first? No, 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 okay. no, no, I'm going to go because it's mental. Look, pretend you're in a dinghy and it's tipping up. Okay, just slow, so just look at the barnacles as you go down. Really pretty. Oh, yeah, it's really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't swear, I swore. Swear, go on, swear. <laughs> just beep, 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 beep. <laughs> swear for YouTube, go on, do beep, it. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and then when you get used to it, it's quite nice. It? No, it's not. <laughs> beep. <laughs> <laughs> what, she survives, so you'll go in. I will, will. Oh, God, it's Definitely, definitely mental. So Gainer, what's happening outside? What's that noise I can hear? The rain is descending. Um, we're currently in uh, Loch Salin, which is um, somewhere we've not been before. Uh, but quite a lot of uh, fellow yachties recommended it purely because the uh, owners were so on the ball about, you know, uh, getting things right and also because it's so beautiful here but fortunately and 
luckily we can show you that because earlier it wasn't raining but now it certainly is <laughs> rain rain go away come back some other day I'm in down out there isn't it absolutely absolutely very nice well, Karen did want a shower. She did. She's gone for a shower and I think she's going to get it in this. It'd be nice to get the sails up, but... Uh, Some wind would be required. It would. I love the look, Karen. Rock that look. Absolutely. Right, well, so I can see the screen and these are my sunny glasses. I need to get new marathon poles. Yeah, I think you do, Karen. And just watching the screen and making sure we're on the same course and minusing. Uh, can you pay attention? Look, the depth is down to 115 metres. <laughs> we popped back into Loch Aileen so Karen could have another swim. And Gaynor did some art. I, um, last time we were here, um, collected some sand from the coal mine, uh, sorry, sand mine <laughs> that's here at um, Arle uh, Aileen? Arleen? It's your piece to camera, you make it up as you go along. Carry on. <laughs> so I collected the sand And then I got some black card, and now this is what Beverly hates me doing. It's what's called the glorified fiddle, but I adore it. However, I have to say I'm not alone in my dislike for the glorified fiddle to uh -huh. today. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, that's only because Karen wants me to go swim in again. But I have promised her I will do this one, and then we'll go swimming. So. So let's see what this one is but um, it's um, quartz uh, sand which is used for making flint or in my case a crazy salty last card speechless would you like to make any comment Karen hurry up I might go swimming <laughs> what, what, what did you get in the water for, you twit? Look, Karen, I'm not being funny. We're wet. Drip, how are you doing? Fine. It's quite nice, actually. The rain is bouncing off. You were the one who was complaining about it. Very poetic. Jane, are you not getting out again? No, I'm experimenting. Do you know what the word experiment means, Karen? Yes, it means not playing with Karen. Just leave again, it's not going anywhere. I was just gonna see if I could deflate this. No! I will be in it when it happens. Alright. I'll go play with Karen then. Wave to your wave to your fans. See ya! Early next morning and we were off again. Karen Helm is back to open. What in the name of Ned are you two up to? Um, right, unfortunately I'm a hairdresser and I can't... Is that a thing to apologise for? Well yes, because I'm using these appalling scissors but we're getting there. It's the only scissors, we've given her three pairs of scissors. And, apparently and I didn't all bring my hairdressing scissors with me, naughty girl. And, and you're the willing victim of this. Oh no. Of this, I, um, of this you're next. Of this atrocity. You're next. Yeah. That's what you think. So, oh. so tomorrow... Love the, comb, love the comb, Karen. So tomorrow I'm going to have to have my hair dyed. Yes, definitely. But I'll do it my own. I did say, but, get your dye, girls, because you're just going on. to old and grey. Oh, shut up. I'm not putting that on the video. <laughs> there you are. Oh, for goodness sake. Go and tell them how life is. So, Karen, how was your uh, week on Salty Lass? I had a lovely time. I 
worked on the B, B and G, is it? Yes, B &G. yes. Uh, B and G, Sharp Plotter. Sharp Plotter. I really enjoyed it, done lots of helming. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't get the sails up much uh, because the wind wasn't there. What it was wind? Black cars, <laughs> what wind? But, you know, I don't care. We but, do. I know, but I enjoyed, I really did, and the scenery has been spectacular. The food is a bit, oh, absolutely gorgeous. So, that's amazing cook. And oh, she's giving me loads of potatoes here. Well, but, what you don't use, we can use tomorrow. So, anyway, I've had a great time. Well, that's uh, what we're hoping to come back. Maybe mid September, end of September, but I don't know where you're going to be. Neither do we. If you're well, neither do we. Neither do we, darling. All right, yeah. darling. Bye. Bye. Bye.